According to the index, press freedom is still firm in Namibia, as no journalist or media personality has either been killed or imprisoned. The role of the Constitution in protection of press freedom has also been acknowledged by Reporters Without Borders, saying the judiciary plays a crucial role in retaining press freedom, particularly when journalists are under attack by state agents or individuals. However, the index wants the legal framework to be strengthened through the enactment of the long-awaited access to information law. In reference to the Supreme Court judgment in a case between the Patriot Weekly newspaper and the state intelligence agency, Reporters Without Borders urge state institutions to desist from using national security laws to prohibit access to information. The index also cited recent attacks on the media for exposing the free short corruption scandal, a petition by journalists against the conduct of Presidential Press Secretary Dr. Alfredo Hengari, and alleged threats of a journalist by his supervisors for posing a question to President Hage Gangop on his personal lawyer's involvement in corruption as a concern. Our ranking as number one in Africa is, is, is laudable and it's, it's reason for celebration um, because we have to put this in con into context. If we look at what is happening elsewhere on the continent, um, Namibian journalists do not face any level of the repression that journalists in other parts of the continent experience. Um, but that is not to say that everything is perfect. Meanwhile, Reporters Without Borders also expressed concern with a big share of advertising revenue allegedly being reserved for pro-government media, saying it is a threat to privately owned media and press freedom. I've been very, very clear in my thoughts about who to credit when there's press freedom in any country. Because the opposite, when the opposite happens, obviously governments get um, um, eaten alive, that you know, they are not upholding uh, those basic rights. So it's only fair then to say that uh, when, when there's press freedom in any country that you, I think the primary uh, you know, institution that you can give credit for that <laughs> is government. The ranking comes just a few days before the World Press Freedom Day celebrations and the 30th anniversary of the Vinduk Declaration in Namibia next month. Kaipa Herikanji, NBC News, Vinduk.